Hi Cancer, this is just with your November 15th to the 31st, 2017 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Cancer, um, I do see here that some of you guys are going to counseling for a loss of some sort um, on whatever level it is, but I do see counseling. I do see, or you're seeing either a counselor, a mediator, um, a mentor, or a attorney. Um, I'm seeing here. Uh, yeah, but I do see, and you're doing it secretly. You're not telling anyone. So if you're in counseling, you're telling no one. It could be, you know, at the job, a lot of companies do offer um, legal aid or they'll offer um, financial assistance. They'll offer counseling, that sort of thing. But I do kind of see that, um, that there's this offering of that. And I feel that some of you, Maybe at this point in your life in the past, um, or this could be energy that's kind of sifting through now since this is for November 15th to the 31st, you guys will be feeling for the first two weeks of November, a sense of loss. We talked about that before and kind of, kind of um, needing to take some reprieve from, from life. And you've been feeling that way. And then you got back into the swing of things. You started to kind of get back in. And if not, then someone came and... <laughs> sorry guys i tried to avoid it i couldn't or someone um came in and tried to pull you up out of that energy so there's that that's going on um and if you are in a stasis where you are kind of getting back into the swing of things, I feel like now you're at a point where you may feel to yourself that I need to get some help. I need to get some counseling. I need to speak with someone. So hopefully that's been, that's helpful for you. I do feel like you guys are feeling very emotionally kind of confused um, or you have been Um you are trying to get your footing from a situation. You kind of can, you might find yourself replaying a situation over and over and over, which is only making you more emotionally confused. Um, and you've gotten, you start to get your wits about yourself as far as like getting clarity. And I feel like you're going to start to heal emotionally. And I do feel like it's either going to be through this counseling or doing like um, self healing, um, routines that's going to help you get on the other side of things but work seems to be godsend work seems to be the blessing that you need because it's going to make you feel like you can escape from the realities of the world outside of work okay and your love life and all of that stuff it just feels like you know it's too much to deal with or a loss of a person um, your emotions are really heavy so work and dealing with others and something that's not emotionally connected will bring you a lot of success as well as it's going to be again very beneficial for you that being said i do see that there's going to be a, a opportunity where some of you may decide that I'm going to, that you're going to, and I say, I meaning you guys will get into real estate. You may decide hey, I'm going to go and get my real estate license. Um, I'm going to sell my house, you know, especially if, um, you had a loss that, you know, was someone significant in your life. She's like, okay, I'm going to you know move on. I'm going to sell my house. Someone may be offering to buy your house. Someone, you, some of you are looking to buy a home and you will find that it's very successful, maybe at a distance. So you may be leaving your immediate area uh, and getting outside of what's familiar to you. Now, there could be opportunities coming to you left and right. And some of you, because the opportunities are so good, uh, especially if you feel like your job or your workplace isn't necessarily beneficial, there's been some issues there, there's going to be opportunities for you to move on. There's going to be opportunities for you to move on from a situation, period, okay? Um, and I feel like you're not, again, there's a sense of keeping things to yourself, okay? Um, I feel as we get to the end of November, some of you are going to start to be extremely practical. So right now you're in a stasis of, really being clear, trying to sift through your emotions, trying to get back to a place where you're balanced again, feeling a lot of success as it relates to the workplace or helping others and starting to move in a new area, dimension of your life. And as time goes on, I feel like there's going to be this energy of um, being practical about things, okay? So a lot coming to you and a lot of opportunity there. And you may even be, you know, taking some meetings and discussing with 
people the options of where you can go uh, and starting to feel good again about the prospects of where things can come. But then you're going to kind of slow down as November closes out and you'll get practical again. Okay. Now you becoming a little bit more practical about things will ignite some form of um, drama. Okay. Um, and then things having to take a halt altogether, maybe reneging or, you know, someone wanting you to embark on something. And at first you were, you were all for it. And then you're saying, oh no, this is not going to work. How do I get myself out of it? And then deciding to say, Hey, this is not the most practical thing for me to do. Possibly, you know, going and starting to buy a new home or, you know, starting a process of looking for a home or leaving one place for another. And then you start to feel like, no, this is, I'm not ready for this. That will create some fallout between whom who you had a, an agreement with okay and it is going to be some time before you can get on the other side of that okay um so just be careful with that if, if you're not sure about something or if too much is coming to you now don't don't commit fully because i do see committing although you're doing it because you're really feeling good about it you're gonna it's gonna not work in the long run and it's gonna kind of get ugly and especially if you again if you're not doing real estate you may be leasing renting your home out i do feel like there's going to be a fallout perhaps with you and your neighbors not your neighbors your um tenants there may be some fallout is what i see very clearly um uh, so money again you're coming from a place of feeling like it's not enough and you're working really hard to build yourself back up uh again it could be some trips or something that you want to obtain and so you know that's kind of the driving force for you guys as far as money is concerned um now as it relates to love it looks like again some of you have been kind of bitten there's some some harsh energy here that i see that you guys are sifting through uh, you're not really wanting to get back into the love sphere. You're being very cold and calculating to anyone that you meet if you're single at this time. Again, you're feeling very confused. You're reminiscing about things that aren't necessarily real. You're idealizing circumstances that won't come true. And I feel like you're going to start to really be balanced and a little bit more practical about that. Again, some of them may be saying that they want to work on things. They want to work things out. And then they disappear or you're saying, yeah, no thanks. And then you disappear. Uh, someone, again, there may be this opportunity to kind of work on things with someone, but then you have, you're having second thoughts and you no longer want to deal with that person. Uh, and so then you either leave them or, you know, they leave you and they're left holding the bag or vice versa. Um, I do see for others of you, there may be an opportunity to, <clears throat> excuse me, work on things with you and your mate, especially if you live at a distance, you may find yourself trying everything that you can to sneak off some time to go see them, spend time with them. And it may be a new opportunity for you guys to move in. You may hear them say, will you move in with me? You want to live with me? And you say yes at first. And then as we get closer to the end of November, you're like, well, on second thought, I, I don't think I want to, or someone just becomes MIA. So, so with some initial commitment, the reneging of that is going to create an argument and then some time apart from you and your mate, okay? And you don't know why, they don't know why. It's just, there's just gonna be a change in someone's perspective about something. They went in head first and then on second thought, thinking about things in a more practical way, um, they renege. There may be, again, some arguments and fights with your mom for some of you. If you are a mother, you may have some issues with your children. Um, and, um, I feel like it will be calling someone out because someone's lying. They're being less than honest. They're, you know, just lying. They're not being honest. That's going to create some drama at the end of the month. Others of you, I do feel like, um, if you're having some issues with your mate and things, and I feel like it's not necessarily you and your mate, there may just be some personal issues that you're going through. It could be work related. <clears throat> it could be family related. Your mate is going to try to be there for you and try to help work things out with you. And if you're having a problem with a mother or sister or someone at the workplace, your, 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 your significant other will try to be there for you. It's going to take some time before you get on the other side of this, but home will feel like a haven for you. Um, and for others of you, work will be that place. So that's what I have for you guys for the remainder of November 2017. I hope this has been helpful. If you'd like to share with us how it has been, please do so in the comment section below. You know, we'd love to hear from you. And if you would like, I will leave the three-month love reading for those of you who would like to look into how love relates to you guys 
guys for the remainder of 2017. It'll be at the end of this video. If you would like a reading with me, I can be found at the beginning and end to this video as well as in the description box below. And if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Cancer.